Growth of a Sunflower, a photo essay in a group of photographs that tell a story or explain something. The photos may be paired with text too. Look at the photos and read the captions to learn how a plant grows. One, find a large pot with holes in the bottom. Fill the pot with soil and then plant the seed. Step two, cover the seed with soil. Add water and sun. Step three, after a few days, the seed germinates and begins to grow. Give the seedling water and sun. This keeps it growing. You can fertilize it too. Step four, the young plant grows taller. Be sure it still gets water and sunlight. Soon, a bud starts to develop. Step five. As the bud opens, the flower begins to form. Plant needs to grow. What are plants? Plants are living things. They grow. They reproduce. Like you, plants need air and water. They need minerals to stay healthy. They also need food. For a plant, food starts with sunlight. Sunlight fuels photosynthesis. This is a process in which green leaves make food using air and water. With enough sunlight and water, flowering plants will bloom. Plants give us food, wood, and medicine. Photosynthesis provides the oxygen we need to breathe. Can seeds get too much water? Water helps a plant stay strong and sturdy, but even before a plant shoots out of the ground, its, its seeds need water to sprout. Can seeds get too much water? Let's find out. Here's what you'll need. Water, a handful of grass seeds, pencil and paper, six cotton balls, and three small bowls. Plants die if they don't get enough water. Steps. Step one. Start by putting two cotton balls in each of the bowls. Step two. Next, fill the first bowl so the cotton balls are covered with water. Moisten the second bowl's cotton balls all the way through. Don't add any water to the third bowl. Step three. Sprinkle about a dozen seeds on top of the cotton balls in each bowl. Label the bowls so you remember which is which. Keep checking your seedlings for a week. Which sprouts are the tallest and sturdiest? Step four, put the cotton balls in a sunny place. Step five, check the bowls each day. Make sure the first two cotton balls stay covered in water. Make sure the second two stay moist. After a few days, some seeds will sprout. Think it through. A seed has a coat that protects it. Water softens the coat so the seed can sprout. But seeds also need air. Too much water can keep a seed from getting enough air. Now try this. Plants need minerals to be healthy. Most plants get minerals from the soil. Predict how long your grass can survive without soil. Watch the grass sprout to see if you are right. Be sure to write down your predictions before you start experimenting. How do leaves get air? We just saw that seeds need air to sprout. Roots need air too. Air is also a part of photosynthesis. As they make food, green leaves take air in and let it out. Let's find out how. Here's what you'll need. You'll need petroleum jelly, masking tape, a leafy green plant, and a camera. You can easily poke your finger into good garden soil. The loose soil holds lots of tiny spaces. Those air-filled spaces keeps roots healthy. Steps. Step one, spread a heavy coat of petroleum jelly over the tops of five leaves of your plant. 
Step two, do the same on the underside of five other leaves. Step three, put your plant in a sunny window. Then take its picture. Step four, observe your plant every day for the next week. Mark the tops of your coated leaves with tape so you can easily find them again. Compare what you see to the photo you took on the first day. Here are the leaves different from your photo. How are the leaves different from your photos? Think it through. Petroleum jelly keeps some of the leaves from letting air in and out. Those leaves started to wilt. The leaves that were coated on the bottom wilted the most. Measure like a scientist. Measuring helps scientists show exactly what is happening. Let's look at some ways you might use measuring in a plant experiment. You could measure weight with a scale, length with a ruler. You could measure time on a calendar. And you can measure volume using a measuring cup.